Hello everyone, in this video I am going to explain how to use the specialized power system sub-library in the Simscape toolbox of the MATLAB Simulink environment to simulate the power electronics circuits. Uh, let's get started and go to the uh, MATLAB Simulink directly. I'm going to use the MATLAB online, so we need to go to this address in a uh, browser. And if it is your first time using MATLAB online, it is going to ask you for sign up or login. And I have already logged in and suggest you to log in with the uh, university credentials because it will give you access to all the toolboxes and libraries, some of which we are going to use in this video. So let's open MATLAB online. And we need to go to Simulink environment. In the uh, Simulink, we are going to use the Simscape toolbox. And under this toolbox, uh, we need the electrical library. And also, we need to go to the specialized power system sublibrary uh, and create a model from this sublibrary. And you see it opened a new template uh, model here for us with all these uh, components placed already here by default. So I'm going to select all of them and delete them because we are going to learn in this video how to use them. And the first thing to do is uh, to go to the library browser. And as you see here on the left side, these are mm, the list of all the toolboxes of the MATLAB Simulink. And we are going to use the Simscape toolbox and uh, we should go to the electrical library and we go to the specialized power system sub library and here is the list of uh, the uh, groups of the components here and uh, for start in this video i'm going to uh, make and simulate a very simple basic uh, rc circuit so i'm going to have a uh, voltage source first so let's go to the sources and uh, let's bring AC voltage source here using drag and drop and place it here. And for the uh, resistor component, I'm uh, going to the uh, passives group and using the uh, series RLC branch, drag and drop. And if you double click on it, you can change the type to resistor only. And I'm going to change the um, resistance to 10 ohms. And uh, for the capacitor, I'm going to use the parallel RLC branch and place it here. And I need to rotate this guy so it is selected. Then if I use the control or shortcut, uh, it will mm, get rotated like this. And uh, we need uh, some uh, ground components. So let's go to the uh, utilities group. And here is the ground component. Let's place it here. And uh, before going forward, I'm going to fit the view like this and um, zoom out a little bit with the scroll down of the mouse. Uh, so I'm going to uh, move this uh, component close to this one so it uh, gets aligned like this automatically. And if I go here, there is a line and if I click on it, it makes the connection by default. So. Uh, let's make the other connection and um, if you put the mouse cursor on the terminal and drag from here uh, using a left click and go all the way to the other terminal it gets connected like this and uh, if I release it uh, it will remain connected like this so let's make the other connection also and we need another ground component here. So I'm going to make a copy of this guy. So select it, control C and control V like all other softwares, uh, control C and V uh, work also here. So I uh, align this guy also and uh, again, make the connection. And uh, let's bring this guy a little bit to the right. And I want to uh, introduce uh, two components here for measuring the current and also the voltage. So I go to the uh, sensors and measurements. And here is the first one, current measurement. Let's put it here. And uh, current measurement uh, component should uh, place in the circuit in a series connection. So let's remove this connection, delete it, and bring this com component down. 
and make it aligned and make the uh, connection and the other connection and as you see uh, it has three terminals uh, plus and minus are uh, for uh, the direction of the current and the other one is the output that uh, should go to another component that I will uh, introduce later for uh, drawing the waveforms. So uh, we need the uh, voltage uh, measurement. And let's go all the way to the bottom. And here is the voltage measurement. And let's place it here. And align it. Make the connection. Uh, so it didn't... Now it is connected. And we need another uh, ground component here. So I'm going to make a copy of this guy. And this time, um, I will do it uh, another way. So let's select it and uh, push down the control key and just drag it. It uh, gives you a copy of the component like this. And let's place it here, align with this guy, and make the connection. What we need is uh, to Oh, uh, I forgot to uh, make uh, this branch the uh, capacitor only. Let's do it. Let's change it to capacitor only and let's change the capacitance value to uh, 1 millifarad like this. And now uh, I'm going to introduce uh, the scope component uh, which is not located in the Simscape toolbox. So let's go up all the way and close this group the sub-library, the library, and let's go up all the way to the uh, Simulink toolbox and it is located under the Syncs library. Here is the component scope. Let's place it somewhere here and make the size a little bit larger. So uh, let's make this connection from the output of the uh, voltage measurement um, component to the input of the uh, scope component. But we have another output here from the current measurement component. So we need to have another input for the scope. So let's uh, double click on it. And under the file, there is number of input ports. So let's make it two and close it. As you see, it added another uh, input here. And all we need uh, here is to make this connection like this but as you see it uh, made the circuit a little bit messy so let's undo it and i'm going to introduce two more uh, useful components here the two are also located under the uh, simulink toolbox but under another library signal routing and here are the the two components uh, it is a pair so let's start with the go to and place it here and fit the view zoom out again so the from goes here so there is a connection between these two pair of the components if the name are same so if you double click on it you see that the tag is a so i'm going to change the tag to i because it is a current and let's change this one also to i if you click on it uh, it gives you a drop down menu so you can select the i that you already set for the other one and as you see the two are linked so if you click on one of them the other one is uh, highlighted because the two are connected like remotely i'm going to make the connection from the output of the current measurement to the go to and it is connected as we know to the uh, from component and let's connect the from component to the scope in order for the uh, simulation to happen here we need another uh, important component which is located under the uh, simscape toolbox so let's uh, go back to the uh, simscape toolbox and close the single link and uh, go back to the electrical library specialized power system sub library and here is the power GUI component so drag and drop and place it maybe here and fit the view zoom out again so if you double click on it 
you see that the simulation type is set to continuous by default which is the one that we also want to use here because we want to do the transient simulation and going to the preference tab you see there are uh, lots of options here to check it is always good to check these three options because it makes the simulation simpler and faster so as you can see it disables the snappers the auto resistance of the switching devices and also the forward voltage of the uh, switching devices so let's click on ok now the circuit is ready for uh, simulation so let's save it I have already an untitled model so let's overwrite it Another thing before run the simulation is to check the uh, specification of the uh, voltage source. So as you see, the peak uh, amplitude is 100 volt and the frequency is 60 hertz. So let's change the frequency to 50 hertz, uh, which can give us a terminated decimal, like 20 millisecond uh, period. And another step uh, before running the simulation is to set the stop time. So the period was set to 20 milliseconds. So I believe that having 10 periods in the simulation is enough. So let's make the stop time 10 times the period. So it should be 200 milliseconds. So let's make it 0 0.2 seconds. Like this and now let's run the simulation okay now the simulation is done and let's double click on the uh, scope and as you see here are the uh, voltage and current measurements so we need to enable the legends in order to distinguish between them so we should go to the view and check the legend and uh, also maybe it's better to uh, have them uh, separated uh, like on top and bottom so let's go to the configuration properties and uh, using the layout option here as you see the uh, layout is one one so it means one row and one column so let's make it two rows and one column like this and as you see a change and uh, it takes a little bit for the other one to show here on the bottom so let's wait a little bit for it okay come on yeah now we have it here and uh, now I'm going to talk about other useful and widely used components I have made a picture ready for this purpose okay as you see here are three groups of components. The first group on the left are the group of the components under the specialized power system sublibrary. We use some of the passive devices like parallel and series RLC branch, and there are more like virtual inductance. And the active devices like diode, ideal switch, IGBT, MOSFET, uh, uh, thyristor. Uh, all are uh, located under the power electronics um, group and we also used current measurement and also voltage measurement uh, components from the sensors and measurement and there are more to use like mean that gives you the average of the signal and also multimeter for doing multiple uh, measurements and also RMS, THD and of course we have different uh, sources like uh, AC current source, AC voltage source that we use and also controlled uh, current and voltage sources and also DC voltage source and the ground under the utility uh, group and also powered GUI and there are many of the useful components under the Simulink toolbox itself like the math operations like absolute, uh, divide product, uh, square root and many more and also signal routing components like go to and from that we used and also multiplexer the multiplexer and also the scope that we used under the syncs library uh, there are more like display to uh, showing the numerical values and so to file that saves a waveform for you and also other uh, sources like uh, ram pulse generator clock step and many more and also very useful 
uh, components like C function, Matha function, and Simulink function that give you the ability to have your code uh, running maybe like a source in the MATLAB Simulink. And also another uh, very useful component is the Spectrum Analyzer, which is located uh, under the DSP system toolbox. Uh, I think it is enough for this video. We will uh, have uh, other videos to uh, make new and more advanced circuits. Thank you.